Welcome, I'm Virginia Webb of MountainHoney.com. That's MTNHoney.com. For over 25 years, I've been entering honey shows and have won more than 100 blue ribbons in honey show competitions, including two gold medals at the World Honey Show sponsored by the Apamundia. This is the first in a series of preparing honey show entries. I will be showing you how to prepare your honey for competition. Winning a ribbon or award from a honey contest can give a beekeeper bragging rights on the performance of their bees. It is also a personal pride knowing that your honey is one of the best. Honey shows can be found throughout the country including local and state beekeeping clubs, county and state fairs, regional societies like the Eastern Apiculture Society or the Heartland Apicultural Society, and the annual American Honey Show sponsored by the American Beekeeping Federation. There are also international contests like the World Honey Show sponsored by the Apamundia or the National Honey Show in England. This is one of the largest and oldest honey shows in the world. I will be showing you how, to how I prepare honey for competition. There are certainly other ways you can get your honey ready, but this method can certainly help anyone who may be a first time entering a honey show. Be before preparing your honey entries, please read the rules of the honey show. Many honey shows require specific containers you may use in submitting your entries or you may be required to submit a pair or even three or four jars for each class of honey that you enter. The American Standard is a queen line honey jar or a Gamber Classic one pound honey jar. Again, it's best to read the rules before you prepare your entries. Strained or extracted honey classes are usually the largest and most competitive classes in a honey show. So it's important that you do everything correctly to make sure you achieve the highest score. Select jars and lids that match, especially when you have a class that requires two or more containers. You can use glass or plastic containers, but glass is preferred by most honey show judges. You'll want to hand wash your jars in very, very hot water. Rinse thoroughly and dry upside down. Never use a cloth to wipe the inside of the jar. The fibers will be left behind and can show up in the honey later. Here I have several frames of light honey that I'll be extracting for the show. Remember most extracted or strained honey is classed by color. Light, amber or medium, and dark are the general classes, but they can be broken down into many other color classes. After you've extracted your show honey, let the honey sit in a storage tank or bucket for two or three days, allowing all the wax particles, air bubbles, and any foreign matter to rise to the top. Next, I will transfer the honey to a wide mouth quart jar, filling the jar to the very, very top and letting this jar set once it's filled for two to four weeks. Next, I will strain the honey. I will heat the honey slightly in a water bath, never microwaving the honey. This allows the honey to pass easier through the strainer. I use a fine mesh nylon cloth that I double for my strainer. I will strain this into another wide mouth quart jar. While I'm straining, I will heat a pot of water with the show jars in the water, then transfer the honey into the show jars. I heat the jars to keep them from forming air bubbles on the side of the glass. I will fill the jars to the very top. I fill the jars to the rim and I will cover the jars with a little plastic wrap. A few days before the honey show, I will remove the plastic wrap and the lid and skim off the top of the honey using a baby spoon. <clears throat> you want to place new plastic wrap over the top of your jar. 
put the lid on and tighten it, but not too tight. Keep your jars upright at all time. The fill line of the jar is just above this rim, not below it. On this jar, you can see that it is underfilled. This jar, it is slightly overfilled. This is the correct jar and the correct position of the honey. To look for any foreign particles or bubbles in your show honey, use a flashlight. This could be one of the best tools you can use to see your honey. Moisture is also an important part of the show honey. Making sure that your show honey is below 18.6. If it's above 18.6, your honey could ferment. 17.5 is the optimum moisture reading for honey. Use the refractometer to check your show honey. Just before you enter your honey into the show, remove the plastic wrap from the honey. Placing the lid back on and screwing the lid down, but not too tight. Use a soft cloth and wipe off the outside of the jar. If possible, use gloves when handing your honey to the recording secretary for entry. Good luck with all of your honey show entries. Thank you for watching. This is Virginia Webb of MountainHoney.com. That's MTNHoney.com. Make all your honey and beeswax entries show quality. Have a honey of a day.